Turning your sea monkeys green is easier than you might think, and it's actually the best thing you can do for your pets if you want them to thrive. For anyone who's not aware, sea monkeys are a small aquatic crustacean that are usually sold in toy stores as instant pets. They come with a small plastic tank and the three packets you need to start your colony. Water purifier, dried sea monkey eggs, and of course growth food to feed them. And while sea monkeys are in many ways simple animals, they can be deceptively difficult to keep alive, especially if it's your first time trying to raise them. I'm going to show you what I consider to be the most important element to a sea monkey's long-term success, and it also naturally turns them a vibrant green color in the process. In their natural habitat of saline pools and lakes, sea monkeys usually feed on live microalgae. Microalgae are microscopic green organisms that use the photosynthesis of light to get their energy. You can kind of think of them as being like single-celled plants. And just like plants, they produce around 50% of the world's oxygen. Now while the algae that sea monkeys usually eat is alive, they can also eat dried algae powder, which is what's found in sea monkey packet number 3, the growth food. The problem with this dried food is that because it's dead, it can quickly decompose if left uneaten in the tank, allowing harmful bacteria to bloom and deteriorate your water quality, potentially wiping out your entire colony. Fortunately, we can help to fix this problem by encouraging live microalgae to naturally grow in the tank, transforming our sea monkey aquarium from a sterile plastic enclosure into a full functioning and luscious green ecosystem, just like they experience in nature. The presence of live algae in your sea monkey tank, though, comes with several benefits. Firstly, live algae won't easily decompose in your sea monkey tank the way that dried food does, even if it sits around uneaten for a long time. And that's because they're living organisms. This helps to maintain good water quality that will keep your sea monkeys stress free. Microalgae also helps to clean up your aquarium as it feeds on broken down organic material that falls to the bottom of the tank. All of those molted sea monkey exoskeletons and piles of poop you see building up in the tank over time, that's all on the menu for the microalgae and they'll do their best to eat as much of it as they can. When the algae proliferates and becomes well established, It'll look like the surfaces of your tank are covered in a vibrant green carpet. This beautiful blanket creates the perfect home for another beneficial organism, the ciliate. Ciliates are microscopic single-celled protists that are found pretty much anywhere that there's water, including your sea monkey tank. They're characterized by their cilia, hair-like structures that are used for both movement and sensing their environment. Just like sea monkeys, the ciliates in your tank will also feed on the green microalgae, but they have another, even more important function. They're rhombas. Ciliates are basically like little vacuum cleaners, making their way around your sea monkey aquarium, cleaning up organic debris. You can see now how the right conditions in your tank can really create a dynamic biological balance of organisms. So, if getting algae to grow in our sea monkey tank is so important, how do we actually do it? Well, we need to do everything we can to create an environment that encourages the algae to proliferate and grow. I have four useful tips to share with you to help make this happen. My first few are about optimizing the tank for algae growth. Microalgae loves an abundance of light, but just like your sea monkeys, it doesn't like the intense heat that comes from direct sunlight. Keeping your tank on a shaded windowsill is the perfect spot. It'll give them the sunlight they crave without overheating. To take things up a notch, you can also use a USB powered purple grow light. These lights help significantly by producing the perfect wavelengths of light that will encourage any algae in your tank to flourish. I like to keep mine on for around 16 hours each day and just have it switched off during the hours that I'm sleeping. Next up is temperature. Your sea monkeys will do best in stable conditions around 26 degrees Celsius or 79 Fahrenheit. Lucky for us, this is also the ideal temperature for microalgae. If you don't already have one, I'd definitely encourage you to use a small submersible USB aquarium heater like this, as it will help to keep your tank at the right temperature and prevent any fast fluctuations that will stress out your pets. I have mine switched on permanently, and this built-in thermostat will turn the heater on or off as needed. My third tip is about water movement. Microalgae produce oxygen, so having an airline bubbling away in your tank isn't important from that perspective. But something else an airline does is keep the water in perpetual circulation. Most algae species aren't motile, meaning they can't swim around, so they're basically at the whim of the water currents. They also rely on the constant movement of water to stop them sitting in one spot for too long, because if they do, they can die. I'd highly encourage you to add an airline into your tank that's kept on 24-7. 
not only for the well-being of your sea monkeys, but also for the algae that will be growing in there too. I also like to use an air control valve on mine. They allow you to regulate exactly how much air is flowing into the tank. And as a general rule for sea monkeys, we like the pressure to be quite low. My fourth tip is to open windows. You see, to get things going, you don't actually need to add an algae starter culture into your tank manually. It'll just find its own way in there naturally given enough time. That's because algal cells are so small and light that they're floating in the air all around us, being carried by wind and air currents. So at some point, they'll accidentally just land in your sea monkey tank. Sometimes this can take a few weeks, but opening up windows to encourage airflow will definitely help out a lot. And now that our tank is optimized for algae growth, it should really speed things up. For anybody who's interested in picking up any of the affordable accessories I mentioned, such as the USB powered grow lights, air pumps and aquarium heaters, I've left a link for all of those down in the video description. So, now to answer the question I'm sure a lot of you are wondering. If you have algae naturally growing in your sea monkey tank, does that mean you can stop feeding them all together? Well, not exactly. This algae will supplement their diet, but not replace it completely. It's still helpful to feed them their regular growth food from time to time, but you can definitely reduce the feeding frequency. But if you really want to take things to the next level, you can culture microalgae in an external tank that you then feed to the sea monkeys. This is my recommended feeding method. I made a tutorial detailing exactly how to do it in this video here. So go watch that next and I'll see you there.